there's a grocery store Cam goes to when he's in a hurry. It's not the one closest to his house. That one is full of memories, full of roots. I saw him see me. He turned and he headed my way. Cam, he said, how's your mother? Well, I say, she passed away two years ago. I saw you at her funeral, I wanted to say. I remember talking to you. Oh, yes, that's right. I'm sorry. Well, then, how's your father? Dad's wonderful. He plays pickleball five, sometimes six days a week, sometimes twice a day. He's 87, but I don't think he knows it. He's great. Well, that's wonderful. Please tell them both I said hello. I, I, I sure will. Thank you. The grocery store closest to my house is the one I go to least often. The trip takes too long. At any moment of the day, there's someone in there that wants to chat, wants a short visit. In the middle of the day, when I go in to buy something quick for lunch, someone like this is likely there, usually friends of my parents. They're in no hurry. The grocery store I go to when I'm in a hurry is actually a bit further away. It's quicker. Conversations like this with this older gentleman, while a bit comical and maybe a bit sad, mean something. I know you, he was saying. I know your people. You and me, we're connected. We fished when you were a young boy. Your dad and I hunted turkeys together. As a young man, I wanted no part of this. I didn't want to be reminded of myself as a boy. I wanted anonymity. I wanted a blank slate and to make my own way as a man. So I left my hometown for two decades. Today, the opposite is now true. It's become important to me. It's a 180 degree about face. I like it, though a bit comical and a bit sad at times. I like it. It's roots. There's something about old connections, about roots, about generations of pasts that intertwine. I once dismissed this as unimportant. I felt that these were silly things cherished by simple, small-minded people. I was a young man then. I was bulletproof and I knew it all. I've had a 180 degree about face. They're important now more than ever, as I look around at who I'll grow old with, how we're connected, and how my connections may show up in my kids' worlds in some unknowable way in the future. And I see one of my friend's adult children in the grocery store. I knew him when he was a boy. I tossed him balls, maybe, or I cooked him pancakes in his pajamas at my house on a Saturday morning. And I go up to him and I say, hey, tell me, how's your father? I miss him. Please tell him I said hello. I'm Cam Marston, and I'm just trying to keep it real. To hear more commentaries, search for Keeping It Real with Cam Marston on your favorite podcast app or follow Cam Marston on social media.